Oh, good morning. Today's Saturday. The work week is over. <laughs> Hooray. I had a couple classes this week, so it felt like, like every day I had something going on. I was busy. I had a doctor's appointment. I had um, a class on subcontracts whew, and procurement. And then I had this other class I went to about some new academic personnel stuff on their new search policies. So just some different work stuff going on. Um, I don't really like going to classes that much, as it turns out. Anyways, um, yeah, so this past week, what happened? Um, I got a new screen door, and I finally feel like, on an unrelated note, my little stuffed reindeer is finally in season, because I keep him up year-round, because I think he's cute, but now he's in season. Anyways, um, I got this screen door installed, was it Wednesday? <clears throat> yeah, the same day I had the subcontracts class. Yeah, so I had wanted a screen door for months, and I actually wanted it back when I lived at public housing, but the manager there was super sucky and never got back to me and kept saying, oh, we need this, we need that, and just, she sucked. So, um, yeah, I've got an actual real screen door, the only one in the building to have it. Um, I think it'll be nice when it's warm out, like hot out, and my cats can look outside too. Figaro, don't eat the Christmas tree. Sorry, he's chewing on the Christmas tree. Um, there's kind of loud noise because they're cutting a tree down next door, but I'll show you real quick. <laughs> so this is the screen. Very exciting for me. I've got my little um, Hello Kitty mini flag, and it, it does lock, so I can lock it right there if I just want to leave it open. Um, yeah, so there is the screen door. The cats are totally scared of it because there was so much noise when it was getting installed. Um, the guys were banging and stuff, and then they ended up having to... Well, I put in a work order to fix my front door because I've been having all kinds of issues with it. And someone had to come and plane the top of it. That's what I had to say. Can someone plane the top of it? Yeah. Um, so, there you are, little figs. Little figs who likes to go after the Christmas tree. Oh, he's coming to check out the door. It's so loud out there with them cutting down the tree. Yeah. Oh, hey, Stitch. You're coming out now, too? Yeah? So today, um, I feel like I really need to focus on Christmas stuff. I've got, like, a bunch of things on my list to do. Um, let me see. I've got it in my reminder section. I need to do some Christmas cards. I actually don't send out that many. I just mail out a few and then give some to, um, you know, my coworkers. So these are the cards I bought at Target the other week. I got two packs of them. Um, I feel like Papyrus always has at least one little Dosh Hound card, and I tend to buy it, because last year I also had a Dosh Hound card, and I still have a few left. So, <laughs> so I'm going to work on some cards. And then I bought this silly kit at Target to decorate my front door. Um, kind of ridiculous and not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyways. And then what else do I need to do? Um... I need to order copies of Mackenzie's pictures of Santa because she went and met Santa. Chris, um, her dad had this Christmas party at his work in the real estate agency he works at. And um, Santa was there and Mackenzie wanted to meet him. So there's like some really cute pictures. And then Santa also got my sister in there. So <laughs> I think that's really cute. I need to wrap my sister's presents and prepare to ma mail them out. Although I can't mail them out yet because I'm still waiting on one item from Etsy. Um, so I've got some of my sister and Chris and Mackenzie's presents down there. I've got some of my mom's presents up there. <laughs> um, I'm kind of like piling stuff up, but I need to start wrapping. You know what I mean? To get ready earlier. Um, I do need to buy... Oh, God, what do I have to do? I got a present for my friend at DT. I got her this little um, Sephora gift card. We always give each other gift cards. It's just what we do. Um, so I got her a gift card and this Josie Maron. It's a small one of the whipped argon oil body butter um, and jasmine so I also need to get her a card and a little chocolate treat because we always we always kind of do the same thing for each other so a chocolate thing I need to go to anthro to get a price adjustment blah, 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 blah. get tamales for my mom <laughs> I'm just gonna pre-order them so yeah lots of you know different little things and then I need to get stocking stuffers for my mom too when my sister was here we used to do it together but now She's up in Oregon, so I need to buy that myself. So I just have little bits and bobs of things to do from heading downtown. Um, it was definitely busier there. Parking lots are full, fuller than normal. Just like last week. Um, I kind of don't like it when there's like just so many people. It's kind of impacted and parking can be difficult. So. 
But that's what happens during the holidays. So I went to Anthropology, um, did a price adjustment because now they have 25% off all full price merchandise. So that pink, I got a pink top last week, so I got um, money back for that. And um, I went over to the French Press because they had some new holiday drinks that they announced on Instagram. They didn't have anything mentioning it in store though. It was so weird. So I got the buttered rum latte, but they also have like, I want to say gingerbread mocha. It's just weird they didn't have it anywhere in the store announcing it. Um, yeah, so my drink is good. I got the hot what was it, the buttered rum latte? Um, it actually kind of tastes similar to the vanilla latte, I'd say. It's still kind of sweet. still has that same coffee bean taste, you know, their bean, the beans they use there. Um, yeah, and then I went down to Chocolate Maya, and I guess that was it. I was also thinking about going to um, Lush and Bath and Body Works to pick up some small Christmas gifts for my mom, but I just didn't feel like it. Like, there's just, I don't like how busy it is. Let me show you the cat. Fig looks like he's going to fall off the table. And Stitch is drinking some water. And that's what they're up to. I'm keeping an eye on them. Um, I'll show you what I got at Chocolate Maya. Although some items are in boxes, so you can't really like see it. See it. Um, I got a gold box for myself. Um, first, I wasn't going to get anything for myself. But then I was almost done. And I was like, oh, let me get a few things. <laughs> so I can show you what I got myself. I just don't want to show you the presents for other people. I don't want to open up those boxes. They look so pretty right now. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can do this. Alright. Kind of stuffed in there a bit. And they had all these great holiday chocolates. They had ones that looked like penguins. They had a little Christmas tree. It's so cute. So this is what I got. I got two of these uh, mushroom guys where they've got um, like, a, like a honeycomb kind of up top and then caramel down here in the bottom. Uh, this is a hedgehog. He, he looks like a little hedgehog. And it has this uh, cinnamon milk chocolate inside. And this little mouse, this little white mouse, let me pull you out. He actually has Nutella in him. So I thought, wow, that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, and then I got these like candied uh, dried oranges dipped in dark chocolate. So yeah, it's kind of a, a tough fit to put, put them in. The girl was having trouble. <laughs> And then for presents, um, and I wrote down who gets what, I've got these boxes here, these custom boxes, and isn't that pretty? They like do all these, you know, these ribbons and then this little wrapping paper and stuff. So I've got this box for someone, uh, this box for someone else, the gold one. I had to write down who gets what because sometimes I forget and uh, get it mixed up. Pretty boxes here. And then, this is part of a gift I'm going to give to a friend, so, um, yeah, it's cute. It's just a milk chocolate square, it's kind of big, and it has this gold, like, dust on it. So, yeah, that's what I got at Chocolate Maya. Um, yeah, and actually, this morning, I was super psyched because my little Figaro is Cat of the Week on a local website. Woohoo! So, um, Ed Hat is a local website where people... I'm um, in the community, can post news and stuff, and I go on there regularly um, just to see what's going on. And um, people can submit their pets for Cat or Dog of the Week. So every Saturday there's a new Cat or Dog of the Week. And in the past I had mittens on there, which was years ago. I didn't even bookmark it, so I don't, I can't go back and see it. And then two years ago, um, Stitch was Cat of the Week, and then this week Figaro is Cat of the Week. <laughs> I'm pretty excited about it. So let me show you the website. Um, so it's just Ed Hat Santa Barbara, if you can see that. And then Figaro. And I wrote a little blurb. I emailed them a blurb with info about him and his background. And then I submitted some pictures. This was when I first adopted him on 7-11, July 11th. And he had those big ears. They were so big. And he was so itty bitty. He was only two pounds my baby and then when I held him like a baby my hand looks so big there I do kind of have big hands for a girl but um he's just so cute and then this is one of my favorite pictures I took of him that was like on a Friday afternoon I took some time off work and laid down and he was sitting on me and I I just feel like that picture came out really clear it's like a good picture of Fig 
And then this is more recent. Um, sometimes when he naps, he'll lie on his back and he'll sprawl out. And you can see like his belly and his big tail. And he just passes out. And then this was the boys. I think this was before Thanksgiving. I was about to, you know, go home and bring him back to my mom's. And um, they were both just looking out the window. And this was recent. <laughs> Very recent. I was getting ready for work and he was just lying there. And his tail is what really stands out to me. Just how big it looks. And then the most recent picture, I had submitted seven pictures. Um, this is when I woke up recently in the morning. Like I was lying in bed. That's why my bed's all unmade and messy. Um, I woke up and they were right next to each other and they were actually cleaning each other. So like they were licking each other and giving each other kisses. So that was really cute. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, link that on this, on this, uh, in the description bar. But oh my gosh, I was just so excited. <laughs> He's online and people can leave little comments and stuff. My little fig. It's his turn. His older brother had his turn, huh? And I've got the screen door, oh, well, not open, but my front door is open a little bit um, just so the cats can have an opportunity if they want to go peek and look. It's still noisy out because they cut down one tree this morning. Now they're in the process of cutting down the second tree at the building next door. So it's still kind of loud out there. And, you know. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess I should work on some of those other Christmassy things now that I'm back home. Decorate my door, do some cards. Yeah. All right. See ya. Today's Sunday. I'm in the middle of doing some laundry and some cleaning, and I am stuffing my sister's Christmas presents box um, with, like, some Ulta paper, so... Hopefully everything arrives safely, but I thought I'd show it to you real quick. Actually, last night I did film the presents before I wrapped them, but then later on I thought, you know what? Even if my t I tell my sister not to look, she's going to look. So um, she doesn't get to see them. This is what everything looks like wrapped up. Um, and, yeah, I just started adding some magazine stuff to the sides to keep it safe. So I just got some presents for them. And then um, this thing saying, open now. <laughs> And then I'm just adding, like, the Ulta stuff along the sides, I guess. Um, yeah, so I need to mail this out tomorrow. It's a little heavy. Um, anyways, yeah, so that's what I'm up to. Then I do need to do some local errands today and get some little stocking stuffers for my mom, stuff like that. Um, yeah, so still more Christmassy stuff. Still up to Christmassy preparations. Sunday afternoon. So this morning I was pretty busy with all my laundry and cleaning and all that stuff. Um, did all that, and then I had to go do some errands. I'm looking for an, a new iPad cover for my mom. Last year for Christmas I got her the iPad Air. Just the the, the first one, not the number two. Um, yeah, and she needs a new cover. I just don't know which one to get her. So I went around to Best Buy and looked around. I can't figure out what to get her there. There's too many options. And then I went to Ulta <coughs> to get her some, like, Christmas presents. So, um, I still need to wrap them. My head hurts, actually. I just took some, like, Advil or Motrin or something because I came back with a headache. <laughs> it just hurts. So, yeah. Um, I'll show you what I got my mom at Ulta because she doesn't wash these. Um, some were little stocking stuffer things like this looks cute. It's by Tony Moly, and I think they're sold at Sephora. It's just a hair mask, so there's this treatment over here. It's the squishy stuff you put on your hair. And then you just put on a mask, or rather, um, a hair cap, excuse me. So this looks like a fun little thing for her to do, and it's made in Korea, and I thought my mom would get a kick out of that because we lived in Korea when we were younger, when I was younger. And then this is more of an under-the-tree gift, not a stocking gift. This is the Becca Afterglow palette, and it looked pretty nice. My mom does like Becca. It has three of those luminizer things and then two blushes. So I believe it's an Ulta exclusive, so my mom doesn't have this yet because she never goes to Ulta. <laughs> and then this is a stocking stuffer. It's some little mini nail polishes. My mom does like to use red um, on her toes sometimes. So I thought hopefully she'll like these shades. You know, it's kind of hard with buying <clears throat> beauty products as gifts sometimes. Will someone like the color? And this was just for myself. More sunscreen because I go through it really quickly. And that's it for mom. 
yeah, just these little NYX items. My mom does like NYX. And I asked her for what does she want, and she said she doesn't remember. And um, they just have so many products there. So I got her the Butter Gloss and Cream Brulee. It looked like a pretty good basic color that's popular. And then a blush, and I was <laughs> swatching all these other blushes, and they're so pretty. Uh, this one is in Journey. And, yeah, they're really nice, and some of them have some shimmer to them. So I don't know if my mom likes shimmer, but they actually reminded me of the Chanel blushes, oddly enough. Um, towards the end of college, I stopped working at the Dining Commons, where I'd worked at most, like, three and a half, almost four years. And I got a job working at Macy's at the Chanel makeup counter. And um, there were only a few products I liked when I worked at the Chanel counter. Um, there was a lipstick and lip gloss I really liked to put together. And then there was a foundation I used to use. I don't remember the names of it. And then I did like their blushes. I thought they're really pretty. They don't stay all day. No blush stays all day, I find. But they were nice. They were a nice formula. Um, yeah, and then a lot of the other Chanel stuff I found like you could replicate with other brands. Like eyeshadows weren't special, mascara, eyeliners. I remember the eyebrow pencil used to be really popular and we could never keep it in stock in taupe. That was a really popular shade. Anyways, I only worked there for a few months and I hated it, so. <laughs> I'm not good at sales. Yeah, and I didn't like the other salespeople, so. Anyways, yeah, so this is just some of the stuff I got at Ulta. And I think I'm just going to lay down and kind of rest a bit because, you know, like I said, my head hurts. Um, yeah, I might wrap this up already, this vlog, so. Yeah, just a busy kind of weekend of prepping for um, Christmas stuff. Yeah, so I hope that you had a good weekend too and take care. Bye-bye.